Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be brutally ranking 30 of the most famous football clubs in Europe. Where we prepared a tier list with the biggest clubs, great teams, competitive teams, average and who this last one is for those teams that probably don't deserve to be in the same list as the rest of the clubs and that is exactly where i'm gonna start because excuse my ignorance but who the hell is this team i have no idea if this is a big club i have never seen it i am so sorry honestly i wish i knew who it was i thought i knew most of the teams out there but our first who is gonna be this logo please if you know let me know down in the comments who is this team am i just dumb now we can start at the top with ac milan now for me i think that this used to be a, one of the biggest clubs out there they used to have the biggest players but they fell off a little bit now a little by little they're picking themselves up so i'm gonna place them at great team ajax is next now ajax in their own league they are probably the biggest team in there, right? They win the league the most consistently. But when it comes to Europe, I feel like they are only a competitive team. Now, Arsenal, they were going through a rough patch for some time, but now they're so close on winning the league. Now, maybe they don't and they slip up, but even if they don't, they are having a great run. And for that reason, I feel like since they're picking themselves up again and they're getting in that those top spots once again i feel like they do deserve the great they uh they're not necessarily one of the biggest clubs out there i feel like great team is just enough for them they did have their undefeated streak back in the day but that's not enough to have them in the biggest clubs now this one's gonna be a little bit tough to say because I really respect Atletico de Madrid. They always compete in La Liga with Barcelona and Real Madrid, but they don't really win as much as the other two do. And they always compete in the Champions League, but that's exactly what I feel like their club is, just a competitive team. Barcelona is the first team to go in the biggest clubs tier now yes we are going through a rough patch but that doesn't take away anything that they've accomplished in the past and they also are the team that has played the best football in history Bayern, without a doubt the biggest club in germany and for me this is another club that deserves to be in the biggest clubs tier benfica another team that's always fighting in europe and always fighting in their own league now they are not as dominant as Ajax is in their own leagues. So for that reason, I'll put them in the average tier. Celtic, another team that's only dominant in their own league. Uh, yes, they used to be great back in the day. But now in the day, I feel like they... Oh, this is going to be brutal, but I'm going to put them on the who tier list. Now, only because I feel like they don't deserve to be amongst the other clubs in this list now chelsea did win the champions league just a couple seasons ago and they have won multiple leagues premier leagues so i do think they belong in the great teams tier another team that's always competitive always in champions league always in their league but they don't win as often the league as other teams so for that reason they are just an average club now everton is i feel like nowadays everton is just a who who is everton they are were a great team but now they have just disappeared two in a row galatasaray another team that's only competitive in their own league honestly uh maybe you see them in the europa league but that's not enough that is not enough to be amongst these other teams inter de milan now i do see them uh, very often in either uh, europa league champions league even in their own league i think they won a couple seasons ago but i don't see them as often as other uh serie a teams so he's only gonna go in the competitive tier didn't juventus have like a big run winning back to back their own league 
and they're always present in the Champions League, so they will be in the great teams tier. Liverpool, the, the Premier League team that has won the most European trophies, they definitely go in the biggest clubs tier. Now, City, on the other hand, until they don't win a Champions League, which they're really close to this season, but until they don't win the, the Champions League, they will be only a great team once they accomplish the champions league maybe then they can jump to biggest clubs in the world manchester united their history speaks for themselves they go on the biggest clubs probably the biggest club in england i am not sure at the moment but they used to be at some point they have champions league they have premier league they belong there monaco another who tier team napoli napoli ah oh, they used to be so great man oh, but honestly at the moment they are they are fighting their league a lot and they are in champions league i was gonna put them at average but i will place them in competitive marseille i was gonna place them at average but honestly they give me who vibes I don't know it's probably the logo porto very similar to benfica always competing in champions league but because they divide their league so much in between the each other and with sporting that's the only reason why i'm placing them on average similar to manchester city paris Saint germain they always dominate their league but until they win a champions league they will not be considered one of the biggest clubs out there now for me they're just a great team at the moment but nobody knows how their team's gonna look anymore they're eliminated from the champions league this season and their team's getting dismantled with only mbappe probably staying in the team we'll see next year how their team looks rangers also always fighting their league with celtic but it's not enough we can hate real madrid as much as we want we can say they're as corrupt as we want but that won't take how many champions league they want that won't take away how many leagues they've won it hurts to say but they are the biggest club in europe i was about to place roma in the average tier but they give me competitive vibes and we all know how competitive the italian league is so it only makes sense schalke does belong to the average tier sevilla now we don't see them as much in the champions league but they dominate and i mean dominate in the europa league so for that we're gonna place them in the competitive tier i don't hate tottenham i love sun but until they don't win a trophy they will just be an average team and to finish it off valencia i don't think they're as competitive as sevilla so average seems fair if you ask me that looks about right but if you think i should have placed any team on a different tier let me know down in the comments and if you get upset where i place your club don't be mad at me be mad at your team tell them to do better i'm just kidding come here come here give me a hug give me a hug it's okay it's okay cry it out Hope you're having an amazing day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.